Welcome to the training for Mechanical Science Fundamentals, VALS. The average time to complete this training is estimated to be 25 minutes. After you have completed this portion of training, you will be directed to the next training lesson in the series for further instructions. Facilities consist of a mixture of mechanical and electrical components connected by wiring and piping. To understand how a facility performs a function, we first have to understand how the different components function individually and together as a system to support the overall mission of the facility. Mechanical Science Fundamentals will take a look at these various components, how they function, and how they fit together to make it all work. These are the objectives for this course. The first of the mechanical components in this series are valves. Valves come in many shapes and sizes. They all have their own advantages and disadvantages. You should be familiar with the basic valve types in order to understand their functions and purposes. The basic functions that valves can provide are start and stop fluid flow, regulate fluid flow, control the direction of fluid flow, regulate pressure, and relieve overpressure. Valves are composed of many parts, each with their own unique function. The upper half of the valve contains the operating gear, leakage prevention, and means of adjustment. The lower portion of the valve contains flow channels and the actual parts of the valve to start, stop, or throttle flow, including the disc and seat. Just above the body of the valve, is a leak protection and adjustment portions including items such as packing, gland, gland studs, and nuts. The bonnet is the term for the upper portion of the valve. At the top of the bonnet is a hand wheel and associated operating hardware. While exploring valve parts, we will be looking at the parts of a gate valve. But all the valve types have the same parts, just differently shaped. The body is the primary pressure boundary of a valve. It is also the framework that holds the valve together. It houses the valve internals and provides connection points to the inlet and outlet piping. The cover for the opening in the valve body is the bonnet. Like valve bodies, bonnets vary in design. Some bonnets function simply as the valve cover, while others support valve internals and accessories such as the stem, disc, and actuator. The bonnet is the second principal pressure boundary of a valve. It is cast or forged of the same material as the body and is connected to the body. The internal elements of a valve are collectively referred to as the valve trim. This is a portion of the valve that moves and controls flow. The elements that make up the trim are the disc, seat, and stem. The disc and seat perform the actual flow control functions of the valve. The disc has a machine seating surface that meets with a valve seat to provide a positive seal when the valve is closed. Most valves are named in part according to the design of their disc. The stem is a portion of the valve trim that positions the disc. Valve designs typically require stem packing or sealing to prevent leakage, so a fine or smooth surface finish on the stem in the area of the seal is necessary. Most valves use some sort of packing to prevent leakage from the space between the stem and the bonnet. Packing is commonly a fibrous material such as flax and or another compound such as Teflon or graphite that forms a seal between the internal parts of a valve and the outside where the stem extends through the body. Valve packing must be properly compressed to prevent fluid loss and damage to the valve stem. If a valve's packing is too loose, the valve will leak, which is a safety hazard. If the packing is too tight, it will impair the movement of and possibly damage the stem. The actuator is part of the valve that operates the stem and disc assembly. There are many actuator designs available. It may be as simple as a manual hand wheel or as complex as a motor. The purpose of actuators is to position valves open, closed, or throttled. The positioning of the valves can be done manually or automatically. The operation can be performed locally or remotely.
Because of its simple design, the gate valve is the most common type of valve in use today. A flat disc slides up and down and provides a positive seal against the seat. This is a valve symbol for a gate valve. Gate valves are designed to allow or stop fluid flow. When the gate is completely raised, it is out of the flow stream. This characteristic offers virtually no resistance to flow when the valve is open. Gate valves are not effective for use as throttling valves. Gate valves are slow acting valves because it takes multiple rotations of the stem, multiple turns of the actuator, to open or shut the valve. It offers no resistance to flow, it is a low head loss because of the large cross sectional area for flow when the valve is open. The gate valve is not effective as a throttling valve. A good throttle valve should have linear flow characteristics, i.e. 50% flow when the 50% open, but a gate valve allows 90% flow when only 25% open. It is a good flow isolation valve. Globe valves are the most widely used flow regulating valves. This is a symbol for a globe valve. They are linear motion valves with excellent flow isolation and throttling characteristics. The essential principle of a globe valve operation is the perpendicular movement of the disc away from the seat. The globe valve is a slow acting valve due to multiple turns of the actuator to fully open or shut the valve. The main advantage of a globe valve is the good throttling characteristic. The disadvantage of a globe valve is a large amount of head loss that occurs across the valve because of flow direction changes and small openings in the seat. The manually operated valves are typically normal seated as shown. Globe valves can be designed so that the disc closes against or in the same direction of fluid flow. Valves that open in the direction of flow are known as normal seated or forward seated. Valves that open against the direction of flow are known as reverse seated valves. Typically, manually operated valves are normal seated valves. Reverse seated valves are typically used in the valves with actuators other than manual actuators for throttling purposes. A needle valve is a variation of the globe valve design used to make relatively fine adjustments in the amount of fluid flow. This is a symbol for a needle valve. The distinguishing characteristic of a needle valve is a long tapered needle-like point on the end of the valve stem. The needle acts like a disc. The advantage of a needle valve is the excellent throttling characteristic and the fine flow adjustments that can be made using a needle valve. The disadvantage of a needle valve is the extremely large amount of head loss that occurs across the valve. A ball valve is a rotational motion valve that uses a ball-shaped disc to start, stop, or throttle fluid flow. This is a symbol for a ball valve. The valve is opened by aligning the ball port with the valve body inlet and outlet. The valve is fully closed when the ball is rotated 90 degrees so that the port is perpendicular to the flow openings of the valve body. Most ball valve actuators are the quick acting type, which require only a 90 degree turn of the handle to operate the valve. However, for large ball valves, the ball can be difficult to turn and may have actuators with mechanical assistance. The main advantages of ball valves is that they are quick acting, quarter turn on off operation, provide very little flow restriction when open, and provide positive flow isolation with low torque. The main disadvantage is that the conventional ball valves have relatively poor throttling characteristics. A plug valve is another rotational motion valve used to stop or start fluid flow similar in operation to a ball valve. This is a symbol for a plug valve. The name plug is derived from the shape of the disc which resembles a plug. In the open position, the passage in the plug lines up with the inlet and outlet ports of the valve body. When the plug is turned 90 degrees from the open position, the solid part of the plug blocks the ports and stops fluid flow. The main advantages of plug valves are that they are quick acting, a quarter turn for on or off operation, provide very little flow restriction when open, 
and provide positive flow isolation with low torque. The main disadvantage is that the plug valves have poor throttling characteristic. Plug valves are usually relatively small in size, approximately 6 inches in diameter or less. A butterfly valve is a rotary motion valve that can be used to isolate flow. This is a symbol for a butterfly valve. Butterfly valves are easily and quickly operated because a 90 degree rotation of the handle moves the disc from fully closed to the fully open position. Larger butterfly valves are actuated by hand wheels connected to their stems through gears that provide mechanical advantage at the expense of speed. The main advantages of butterfly valves are that they provide very little flow restriction when open and provide positive flow isolation with low torque. In smaller size butterfly valves, an additional advantage is like the ball valve and the plug valve, they are quick acting, a quarter turn on or off operation. Unlike the ball valve and the plug valve though, butterfly valves can be designed in much larger sizes. A diaphragm valve is a linear motion valve used to isolate or regulate flow. This is a symbol for a diaphragm valve. The name is derived from its flexible disc made of rubberized material or thin metal, which mates with a seat located in the open area at the top of the valve body to form a seal. Because the diaphragm isolates the body cavity of the valve from the bonnet, stem, and disc, these types of valves are good for use with dangerous liquids that could be hazardous if they leaked out along the stem. The main advantages of diaphragm valves are that they are suited for handling of corrosive fluids fibrous slurries, and radioactive fluid. They can be used to throttle fluid flow. They are slow acting and have high head loss compared to other valves. Diaphragm valves are typically smaller in size. 